when you came in the front door, hopefully you didn't think you were coming into Black River Retreat. There was actually a promotional piece out there. There was there's lots of information about a new bed and breakfast and uh, retreat and resort that's in our area. And Trevor Telford is here this evening and I've invited Trevor to come and talk a bit more about his creative business. So please join me in welcoming Trevor to the front. Good evening. I'm Trevor Telford from the Black River Retreat and I'd like to thank Andrew for inviting me to speak with you this evening. I've spent the last two years of my life in an arduous renovation of my home. I had this dream, I, I found this log home and I wanted to create a couple's retreat. So I spent the last two years with my nose just to the grindstone and haven't had a chance to get out and see the community. So I'm fortunate now, I feel very fortunate that I've had the last couple months to get out there and start meeting some people, start meeting some other tourist operators, start meeting some other businesses. And every time I meet someone, I leave thinking, wow, what, what am I seeing that I'm recognizing from others? And there seems to be one thread, one string that we all have together. And that's a dream. We've all been able to look at an area, look at our community. And I guess that's part of being an entrepreneur. We've looked at our community and said, you know what? I think there's something missing. I think there's something missing and, and there's a little niche market that I think I can fill. And I have the desire, I have a burning desire to fill it and it, I just feel like I must do it. It's not always the easiest thing to do uh, sometimes it takes a very long time to realize our goals and dreams. But I think as entrepreneurs, we have that burning desire and we've gone ahead and done it. And I just want to take a moment just to encourage everyone to take a look at our local tourist areas, our tourism uh, areas that are already developed. We have, you know, the, the Fab region, we have Lando Lakes tourism, we have uh, the, the, the county, we have Bay of Quinney tourism. And I think we all need to really get to know them and know what they have to offer us and also reach out to them and say what we have to offer to others. This is our outlet to the world. They're, they're able to, to focus nationally and internationally to bring people to us. And so it's up to us to be a part of this group and really work together and make sure that they know who we are so that when they're marketing to BC, in BC, they know why they're coming to our region. And let's get this region to be a very strong region. Like Daryl Kranz was saying, like we have everything to offer here and let's get the world to know that. Um, as a bed and breakfast, I can't go to BC and say, hey, come spend a couple nights at my place. It doesn't work. But as a region, we can because we have all these things to offer. We want BC to come and spend a week, to come spend two weeks in our region, see how beautiful it is here and come back next year. So I encourage everybody to get out there, get involved in your, in your tourist organizations and regions, get to know them, let them get to know us, and, and let's work together and develop a really strong region. And of course, having my, my Black River Retreat, like I have, a, I have a little foot in the game here too, because I had a dream. My dream was, was to operate a couple's retreat. I wanted to have a couple's retreat. It's, it's described as a bed and breakfast, but it's a little bit different. I only cater to one couple at a time. I want to create an experience for that couple. I want them to leave what they have in their everyday life and just forget about their stresses and trials and tribulations for a day or two. Just come out and enjoy something totally different. I, um, I didn't want people to feel like they're coming into my home. I wanted it to feel a little bit more private than that. So I just didn't, I didn't want people to think, oh geez, I'm walking up the stairs at 12.30 at night and the stairs creaked, I hope nobody knows. I, I wanted them to feel more private than that. So, so I have a private entrance coming into my home. So they walk into their suite through a private entrance. They're in their sitting room then, there's a fireplace, leather couch, a kitchenette, a breakfast bar. I serve dinners and breakfasts right in the room again so they can stay private and just, just completely enjoy the love that they share together and not be disturbed by anybody or anything else. Um, they walk up two steps into their bedroom and there's a beautiful log bed in there, log furniture, everything to, again, to cohesively look like my log home. I want them to have the complete experience. They walk into the ensuite and there's like an oversized shower. Everything's done in travertine and pebbles. Great big shower head, uh, 
a rain head for them. Just everything, I wanted everything to be opulent, luxurious, and tie in with what I'm doing. They walk outside and uh, on their deck there's a cedar hot tub. So you sit under the stars in your cedar hot tub. You walk through six acres of woodland trails. You go down to the river and sit at Tranquility Point. I have 1,500 feet of river frontage on the beautiful Black River. Again, everything just to escape, to, to have a different reality, something that you dream of that you don't have at home come and get from, from where I am. And I'm sorry, I've way overstepped my time. I just got all excited talking about tourism and, uh, and the area, and I, I, I firmly believe that this area has so much to offer. Um, I look at it as, a, as an undiscovered Muskoka. Like everybody knows Muskoka and cottage country, and I look at what we have here, and we have rivers, we have lakes, we have rocks, we have hills, we have so much to offer in this region. And I encourage everybody, like I said, to become involved in your tourism areas, your tourism communities, and, uh, and let's grow together strong as a region. Thank you very much. Thank you, Trevor. And if you're on Facebook, please look up Trevor's Facebook page. He posts just about every day. There's awesome photos of your place and really promotes our area. So thank you very much, Trevor, for speaking tonight. Our fourth, last but not least, is Deborah Richardson and, and Terry. I don't know if you're both coming up. You've brought a huge crew of people here this evening. The Drum Nation Festival is an awesome festival that they put on in our area, among some other things. So I asked them if they could talk. So we have a festival as a creative venture in our regions.